Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Choose to Lose campaign where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with less soldier options, less equipment options, less hit points and more uh, powerful enemies via the ABA and ABC mod. As always, we're trying to keep it uh, straightforward with our next operation, Ghost Touch. It is time to sabotage the transmitter and hopefully get that sharpshooter Michael or Michelle Bradley. That would be great to have another major, but mainly I'm doing it to counter the hidden event. We got the loss here. And like I mentioned beforehand, I'm slowly going to transition kind of out of uh, that equipment and eventually will only equip uh, the primary team with the best uh, stuff. And then whatever <coughs> is left over, kind of the scraps, will be for the second team. But that will only happen once everybody of the primary team is at Colonel rank. So there are still a couple of more missions to, to go. For now, we're good and can use all of uh, that material. And eventually, I'll transition out potentially kind of in five to six or seven missions. That's what I think it'll take to get everybody to Colonel rank. Guess what? We landed and losses are going to be here. So we brought a lure with us and finally, 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 we're going to use it. Our intel suggests destroying it while it's still connected will severely damage their linked systems. Plant the explosives before they have a chance to pull the plug. I have the patrol. All right, moving up. And we are seeing enemies. I like it. Real enemies, as in enemies that we can put a lure on. More mutants back there. Who has the lure? Oh, cool. For the first time in. Advent Soldier is uh, joining us. Advent Mech Rifle has a frag grenade. Fantastic. Good. We're going to pull right away. No point in uh, waiting for a long time. Advent Skirmisher. Okay. Five armor. Holy shit. That guy is well armored. This here should hit all three of them. Okay. Didn't didn't fully like connect in terms of uh, triggering a swarm but it did the next, next be best thing which is moving the swarm forward so I am wondering Zirkin How about, I would like to get that guy down. I'll comply for now. Good. We're taking high ground overdrive, yes. This here should break the floor, but he would fall down and be in pretty solid cover, to be honest. So I'm not sure if that's really the way to go. Shield bearer and heavy mech look almost like better targets, to be honest. Getting that shield bearer down, spreading its armor. Sounds like a really good idea. Bombardment. 
That's not shred, but takes away all of the cover. And eventually pulls loss, which we wanted to do in the first place. There we go. Fantastic. Taking the high ground and having full cover thanks to the mech. Two, four, six points of damage. That should be a solid kill. Very nice. Death from above allows us an extra turn. And I'm wondering if we might want to frostbite that uh, skirmisher. That will deal with uh, its half cover because we can't really get him out of half cover unless unless we're using a cooldown. Of course, Frostblade is also a cooldown, but not as I would say vital as the other cooldowns. Open up with Zirkim. I would like to kill this guy straight up. Ooh, fantastic hit. Enemy we got three armor on this guy. Holy shit, that is good. Guess who's going to tank for us? Damn right. I definitely got that one. Okay, perfect. And we're going to use that extra action just to buy us some more time. Well done. Fantastic. We hoped, the network separation has been temporarily delayed. Very, very soon the losses are going to move in. We got pretty nasty looking enemies over there. Like those mutants. They look dope. Try to get those lost. Well, fantastic. Not even close. Let's move already. Did not really work out as I was intending it would, but how about spawning another swarm of lost? <laughs> okay, that worked well. Fantastic. For once. Moving up. And let's try to kill Los Los. It doesn't really work. I'm trusting you here. It's dead. It has to be dead. All right, Toxic finally is taking the lead on eradicating the three losses that are still focused on us. I got it, right? And we're moving further in. I hope you know where I'm going. Hmm, 
I'm going to take the high ground here. Or is the real action happening on the low ground? Problem with that high ground here is it looks like great aiming angles, but it is actually not that good. So feet, feet. I think Mike will stay down here. We've just seen that there is yet another pack near the near the transmitter. We saw for a brief moment that right uh, on the right hand side, like here, you can see it through through the fog of war. Okay, some sort of special viper. Not sure what that viper is about. But unless they are dealing with the loss right away. They will have a problem. Okay, as per the usual, everybody and their mother and father-in-law has been triggered. So the entire map is is moving but this time we got an ultrasonic lure so those three are now going to suffer the consequences what a single attack and that's about it holy shit that is disappointing That is pretty disappointing. I'm not going to lie. I I really was hoping that uh, the loss will make short pro uh, process with them. But that did not happen. Okay, on the flip side, this here will pull more losses. Kidding me? What? What? Okay, so is that a Viper Prime? Wait, 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 wait. Newton Inf Infector. Viper Prime, there we go. Well, I didn't know that. I mean, good to know, right? We're moving up. No problem being flankable here. Three to four points of damage. Not exactly what I would like. I cannot stay here. The best course of action would be just to grapple away. We're likely just going to move away. Alright, the Viper Prime definitely is difficult to hit. Hmm. And they do have a decent just cover overall so. let's try to mark it and make it our first priority since we've yeah, missed it, it it's still got an action Ooh, wow okay so it can even take actions against non-affiliated uh, targets well still learning Roger about that. the primes uh, 
That's not a 100% kill, unfortunately. Moving to designated coordinates. All right, moving up. Let's try to get that prime first. Okay, free actions just as with a normal prime. Do not trigger. Three to four points of damage. Fifty fifty on that one. I don't like the odds. What's the damage here? Three to four as well. trigger more losses and the prime died okay fantastic good we're moving back was an interesting engagement. Gotta admit, I wasn't expecting that. Mike receives some healing. Let's make sure that we're trying to get all of uh, all of these guys. No rounds. We can reconceal that way. It is less likely that the mutant is going to throw a grenade. Blocking the entrance to get up here. No one will cross. Technically speaking, the mutant should be dealing with all of those losses here. Wonderful. So far so good, the ultrasonic lure is working quite well. Even more losses are appearing now. Not sure though if uh, they are actually going to hit uh, the this pack here because it ha hasn't originally been hit. This here, however, should be a pretty straightforward massacre. All right, looks like a charm, and all of the explosions just make the situation even worse. We're dealing as much damage as we can. No, 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 no. X-ray neutralized. Airborne. All right, let's get the high ground here. Uh, 
our percent two four six seven that's a kill We gotta soften up the rest before doing anything. So, another lure would be fantastic, but we are unfortunately out of those. I'm going to use our sacrificial lamb as a frontliner. Good, so... 80% shots are not really that uh, likely to hit, uh, at least not in a row. One of the biggest problems of new players, thinking that 80 or 90% shots, if, if you continue using them, are actually going to hit all the time. Taking a nice little high ground here. Two, four, six, seven, okay. That Spectre is nicely vulnerable. The other one is vulnerable as well okay so let's try to get rid of uh, some of the loss first Moving into cover. They're on to me. And on let's fire. try to get rid of all of the losses here. We're taking that extra shot just to buy some more time. Network separation is good. Let's continue with Primos. Free reload. Okay, so far so good. I think we're going to go for the Spectre. The rest is really almost too far away for us. Alright, Spectre it is. a dasher he might reach us I don't like using the boat uh, caster for loss highly ineffective weapon for that we could uh, give a teamwork over and take another shot the archon could be another good target Reloading, and let's just try to get some of the dashers. Check it before you get too close. Good, another dasher down. And 
claim the Spectre is down. Perfect. Good. Wonderful. I think we're better off with 8 protocol on Primos. <laughs> that way it's harder for the Archon to just retaliate with a shot. I want to make us as in uh, as unattractive as humanly possible. Fantastic, he's doing our job. And eventually he will need to reload and eventually he will not deal enough damage to kill all of them. There you go, that's what I'm talking about. interesting before ABA that did not work because they were not perceiving those guys as actual targets it's interesting to see that it now works so the double agents and like extra enemies were not perceived as actual targets Good, moving over. Uh, I guess that'll be okay. Marking the specter. Fantastic. And now it's time to execute. Very nice. Mike takes a couple of shots. Good. What are we going to do with Zirkim? I think reloading. Came here with Pr uh, Primus. are taking their fair share of the hits here. Will the death of this one change anything? I'm almost out of ammo. We're through uh, we're down. Efficiency no more autoloaders for the Mac. Heavy Elite. Let's give it that 50 50 shot. Another 50 50. I don't like it. Understood. Moving out. Let's get a little bit closer. 60, come on. Nice. I will reposition. All right, repositioning into We're near the objective. Are you kidding me? Can't hit him. Because a lantern post is in the way. All right. That is ridiculous, but funny at the same time. Okay, so what we're going to do in that specific circumstances, here's a claymore. Solid copy. 
Moving down with Mike. And that plus the burning should be... Yeah, maybe. That's a good chance that this... Ah. Blade Storm. Nope. We don't have Blade Storm yet. Too bad. Well, for starters, Zirkum has taken quite a bit of damage. Let's kill the Archon. Could have reloaded beforehand, to be honest. Enemy destroyed. Which would have been slightly better. Alright, time to... Thin out the entire flock here. Do I get a badge of such inefficient designs? This weapon requires ammunition to function. It's dead as requested. Not quite there. Let's get the dasher. It's dead. It has to be dead. Let's matter of fact get all of them. X-ray down. It appears to me that. With ABA, the number of loss just increased dramatically. I mentioned that a couple of times, but it just so happened to prove itself yet again. Good. The guy who should actually take the damage is moving forward. Hearing a robot, a mech somewhere, which means there's still a pack of advent around. Good, moving up. Elarium core is great, that's what we need for all of the nice little special items that we're looking forward to build. Even more losses. Okay, cool. Well, we're not going to do anything. Not yet. Eventually all of the losses will converge and will try to kill us. But we got a pretty solid overall position, so I'm not terribly afraid. I am afraid, though, if there is still an advent pack around. So, here to take a short break, let's uh, kill the last loss, shall we?
Good. Primus is certainly upping its kill count. At the same time, let's move up and either we're planting right away because it seems that we're just fighting against loss. The other alternative is we're buying ourselves some more time with destroying these relays. I think we can just plant. Signal confirmed. X4 charges are active. All right, Shadow very good. Us. One thing that we need to do now is eliminate am all move. of the enemies, and that'll be it. So, but was unfortunately not enough. The vector rifle is so good when it crits, but is so unreliable when it does not crit. Primus is overwatching. I think we're overall fine. It's just one or two more loss, and that that's all there is. Okay, so with the exception of uh, that Viper uh, Prime, which caught me a bit by surprise, the rest went surprisingly smooth. Good. So, do we get a promotion? I have yet to discover exactly what type of exposure no. led to the But Primus already killed 82 enemies, and that is pretty damn impressive. Given that we're we're not even uh, the on the major rank with uh, with the uh, spark. Okay. Hello, Commander. So, signal jamming that would have Created twice the scanning amount, definitely worth uh, countering that dark event. And Mike, unfortunately, Mike, unfortunately, um, caught a negative trade. So let's immediately start to remove the negative trades here. And we got a new, um, we got a new member. My, uh, Michelle Bradley, My kind know all Major Sniper, are going to go with the Return Fire, Dead Eye, Death from Above, Kill Zone, and then we're looking at what? Uh, normally, I would take Steady Hands. This time, we would take aim. I've never really played with aim that much because hunkering down just to get kind of a 20 aim in the next round typically is not worth it. But maybe I can make it work on uh, the training center. So, Michelle, aka Lockdown, is now even higher ranked than Jessica Rabbit Jones. That's a damn shame, if you ask me. We gotta give Jessica some promotions. 
So 25 points, 11 into blast padding makes sense, or we're going all in with uh, chain shot, which isn't bad either. It's actually pretty damn good for a sniper. We don't want to use XCOM AP for her because she's not a member of the main team, but her 25 points can be invested well into chain shot. And if my memory served me well, we got a potential bond together with toxic. Okay, fair enough. Good. Well, for starters, what I want to do is get Vorts and Quick Feet up to the Colonel rank. And Jessica Rabbit definitely, I mean, she needs to get up to Major rank and then eventually to Colonel rank. So I'll put her on missions. And then we potentially, from Major to Colonel, since it's a while, we might need to use a promotion reward. Yeah, not sure. But that's a shame. We now got a sniper who is higher rank than our main sniper. Resistance contacts would not be too bad. I mean, we could do that right after we have Order built the radio relay here. We're out of supplies. We're, we're going to get that next. And we certainly could also use some intel for more contacts. But overall... The rest is going great. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, good. We'll There's the promotion we were looking for. We find nothing but success. Intel plus promotion might be the right thing, but we also had dodge as an option, and I think we wanted quick feed. To really receive quite a few quite a few uh, dodge stats we wanted to get him to uh, 100 dodge so he can tank so we effectively need to go through that because nine dodge is rare I know we had a couple of promotions here and there And we will eventually need to find the stronghold. But yeah, extra ability points isn't bad. And dodge certainly is not bad either. He might be wounded afterwards, but that's okay. Ten days unless we're putting his bond mate in there then it's nine days and we're going to do exactly that but before we're putting them there let me promote her that's a difficult one because i have been playing with both rupture and saturation fire let me um let me like talk through them rupture definitely is is a strong ability for single target damage and that's why I was typically taking it. It might be useful in this run here because we do not have a lot of shredding other than our spark. Saturation fire on the other hand is an AOE ability uh, which I absolutely love. I typically use it on, um, on the normal build because it allows us to remove a lot of cover. It's almost like a mini, um, a, a mini shredding sto uh, storm gun, but uh, with normal ammunition. So I tend to go into that direction, which means this time we're going for rupture, and it might really be the better choice for us. Uh, it's a worse, worse ability on this tier, but it is the better choice for the build as well. So kind of nicely comes together, allows us to basically have a way against like ultra hard uh, enemies and she has 22 points left over let me just really quickly go into the training facility 
She is genius level intellect, which is fantastic. Uh, that's not optimal, but it is not bad either. I mean, it's not a bad ability. It's a straight up bonus and might as well give her that. Definitely for her, Implaceable and Death from Above are the better skills, but she could theoretically hunker down, and with hunkering down, it's almost like uh, mm, steadying the weapon in Long War. So that works out well. Yes, did we miss anything? No. Hail of Bullets, something that we could get a little bit later. Volatile mix not needed right now. And Jessica Rabbit gets another ability here. We definitely want to get a Shadow Step at some point. Okay. Now, back to the Resistance Ring. Dodge for Quick Feet. And if Wurtz is helping him, they will be even one day earlier i hope we're getting another kind of promotion um, mission next um, next month that way we can also get um, quick feet to the kernel level to victory. can't remember that it usually took that long to level soldiers might have been just bad luck this time But are we going for another resistance contact? Potentially, right? We don't have intel. Might as well get that plus one resistance contact. And more losts. So that is actually not a bad um, dark event. Because it'll give us plenty options to use our uh, uh, supersonic lure. More crystals. And Shadow Chamber would cost just a bit more power and more supplies than we currently do have. We certainly can start powering up. And also gaining more resistant contacts good because there's really not that much more that we can do we're short on supplies can't sell much more so i'll leave it um, where it is currently once the debris here clears we might um, start creating the shadow chamber And then defense matrix. And then we should be done. Tracer rounds, okay. Not exactly what I was hoping for. We do have two cores, so... Might as well go for another ammunition. I'm still hoping to, uh, to get poison rounds. The other option could be experimental grenade, poison grenade. We don't uh, have that yet. And we could go into experimental heavy weapons. But I would rather take the super heavy weapons once they are available. So, hmm. Let's go for plasma grenades first. That's an upgrade that I will not regret. It'll allow us to remove more cover and just deal more damage as well good technically we can build the shadow chamber wherever we want shadow chamber construction initiated good and we're both good on power as well as on contact. So the moment that we get more intel, we can continue to expand. 
for the time being, I think we're good on Alarium and Alloys. As more money comes in, 700, we might be able to upgrade. Our work is proceeding as expected. In terms of research, hard armor definitely would be an option. A fanatical, if not wholly obsessed being. The And the Chosen will now appear much more likely. Plus, we're getting a supply rate. That is good. I like it. So with that, we could get even more spice and more Larium and more Lois. So that's exactly, uh, pretty much exactly what we need. Also, generally speaking, we're really close to the month end, both together could give us uh, could give us enough enough leverage hmm yeah we're going to do that and maybe we'll even have enough to upgrade most of the weapons I am thinking it it'll take 19 days for the armor so we're potentially better off just to upgrade the weapons in between Whenever we do have intel, I would like to go here because the Berserker Queen offers just a nice extra suit of armor. Yeah, and eventually we also got the Chosen Stronghold at some point at the moment. We don't need it, but if we were to kill her, the Katana and Rashi Shotgun are a, an incredibly strong combination. We could get her down. I am convinced that that would work. Famous, Maybe, you know what? Maybe that is a potential play that we could take. Upgrade the weapons and invade her uh, stronghold. Uh, because there are side effects as well. Uh, the time for all of the missions uh, with the skirmishers then would go down. There would also not be a capture or an ambush option because she's gone and we would eventually uh, just have smoother missions all, uh, all around. So that would that might not be a bad idea, specifically since Rashi is, an, um, is a super good shotgun and the katana is just fantastic as well. Good. We're going to see about that the next time. Enough waffling for now. Thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoy the content, leave a comment and a like below. And uh, don't forget to tune in in two days when we're continuing the Choose to Lose campaign. Bye-bye.